I've just finished put together this beautiful trailer. I must say it took a while. It took me about three days to put everything together. My thoughts on this trailer is that man the detail aspect first of all it's a heavy trailer. I love it. I like the way it is built. You know it's it's seriously solid. I decided to put my special extra detail like these two lights that you're seeing there. The trailer has its own detail aspects. For example, it has uh, axe. I also put my fire extinguisher. It's a beauty. It can be used for the truck itself that it was made for. But hooking it up to the trailer that I built, I think it's the perfect trailer for my rig. I don't know what was the thought when it was building this trailer, if it was for the original truck or for the one that I have. But in a later video, you will see her with rest on nylon and give me your thoughts. Now, it's a challenge to put it together. It's not that difficult. One of the major challenge that, um, you know, we would have experienced was putting together the, um, the clip, the clip in this area here. Yes, there is a there is a C clip that you have to put inside, it. and it's very um, difficult to put. I've tried a whole complete hour, and I did not get you. After giving it a rest, I decided to go at it again. And would you believe a simple tool that would have helped me? There is the there it is. You know wheel spanner. So if you're having problems with this putting in the C clip, all you have to do is to just like press it down, hold it down, you know, with um, a screwdriver or you know a tweezer or something, and then you just take your wheel spanner and you push it all the way down and it automatically clicks. Another difficult um, challenge I, I would have found is to set these lights, you know, the, the wiring system in the back, it's a bit kind of like tricky. I eventually um, figure it out and then after that everything was smooth sailing. Okay, now you have to be very very careful because you can actually break um, the diodes in the light and you don't want that to happen to you. Now I would have made a serious mistake and um, I I don't want anybody to do that mistake because it could be very costly or expensive. See now the fact that you know we order our stuff from overseas and it takes a while before it gets here. Now the mistake that I would have made was when I was setting up the electronics which is inside here, I would have um, put the other lead or the other wire for this side into the circuit for this ramp and as a result when I put everything together I would have short circuited and most likely not most likely but you know I would have blown um, one of the diodes here so as a result it's not working so right now I'm in the process of searching online <coughs> to get the replacement one as I want to see my two lights working I have not figured out the control part in terms of getting the, um, the ramp for the stands down but there is um, a manual switch here which you can use um, this one here is to switch it on the lights comes on and it also gives power to this ramp okay and to engage which of course it had fooled me at first you have to give it one press right uh, leave it for a while then you press it again and then it works very nice how awesome is this trailer yes and to get it back up you do the same procedure okay give it one press nothing happened and then you give it another press. So 
I guess with the electronics, you know, it's probably going away, working away, whereby you have to, um, it have to, you know, control itself. So, what are your thoughts? I'm going to utilize this trailer. I mean, I must say I love it. The name that I give it is Beauty. And I'm going to put Beauty with the Beast. So, that's all for the time being. Oh, sorry. One more challenge that we would have faced is there is a, there is a spring that, you know, helps support this, um, this ramp when you're putting it up. You, know, you want to be careful when you put in that spring because if you don't put in that spring properly, sometimes it slips out, you know, with up and down. Okay, so you want to make sure that you secure your spring in the back. Um, another detail too, before you assemble some of the parts, you want to make sure that you secure your wire because the way the um, the wires um, they are they're neatly secure, meaning that you want to make sure that you put the wires the wires that goes for the light and for the ramp it it must go through um, a groove. So you want to secure the wire before you put in a lot of the other parts. If not, you have you will find yourself having to. After putting the build together, take it back down again and put in the wire. So the wire is a very important um, component that you want to make sure that you secure before you assemble all of these parts together. Okay. So two things to remember: secure your wire before you put in some of um, all the areas inside, and check and double check when you're putting in your electronics because um, you know, like I said, I make a mistake with that even though I would have looked at it, but I was anxious to see these beautiful lights come on and that kind of like cost me. So I went back and looked at the manual and I double check and I double check and I realized that I made a big mistake. All right, I don't want that to happen to you all guys because you know, it's not easy to really maintain this hobby and to go and you know, spend on parts, very costly. So that's it for now, I'll be making other videos um, stay tuned to my channel because the more people look at it, the more it encourages me to, you know, keep on doing videos. Interesting hobby.